Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! A small recap before we continue. The up function will create fields, tables or indexes to your database. The down function will do the complete opposite. Now suppose you have migrated and you decide that the table is completely wrong and you want to reverse the migration. Well, you can do that by running php artisan migrate rollback. This command will roll back the last migration. In my case, because I deleted all the tables, now what this will do is to roll back all the migrations. So in my case, now this will be empty. As you can see, there are no tables anymore. So this command here, migrate rollback, will reverse the last migration. So let me migrate again. And let me tell you another option that the rollback can take. So if you want to roll back the last two migrations, you can say dash dash step and then equals to two, for example. And this will roll back the last two migrations. However, in the case when you want to roll back all the migrations, you can run PHP artisan migrate reset. If I now go back, you will see that this database is empty again. Simply because the migrate reset will reset all the migrations. Now, what if at some point you decide that this table name here that we have as posts is not right? In that case, you want to use the rename method to your schema. So instead of create, you want to rename the table. To do that, let me create a new migration. PHP artisan make migration. And remember, you don't have to do this, but it is very good if you do. You have to give this migration a name that describes exactly what it does. In our case, we want to say rename posts to articles. And we do not specify any option here. So I will just press enter. And if I go back now, we have this new migration. So now to rename the table, we can use the rename method. So schema rename. So this takes two parameters. The first parameter is the initial name of the table. In our case, the initial name is posts and the new name. In our case, it will be articles. The down function should do the exact opposite. So I will just copy this and paste it here. So now we want to rename from articles back to posts. So whatever you have in the up function, the down should do the exact opposite. So if I go back and run PHP artisan migrate to migrate the last migration that we created, you will see now that the name of the table here is changed to articles. By the way, if you make a mistake and you delete a migration, or I don't know what else you can do, then you might encounter some problems when you try to migrate or when you try to create a new migration. To avoid that, you can run composer dump autoload. Let me show you. Composer dump autoload. So this command will probably help you. If that doesn't work, then what I do most of the times is to delete all the tables from this database here, so I just check all of the tables and drop them. And after that, I run again composer dump autoload. So this is when you encounter problems with, you know, creating migrations or migrating or whatever. Now, one last thing about migrations before we continue with the next video. What if later you decide that this table, the articles table right now, because we just renamed it, requires another field? Well, you can do that. However, you should not delete the data inside there. In case you want to add another field to a table, you can go to the migration. For example, you can go here, you can add the field. So you can do something like this, new field, and run php artisan migrate refresh. So this command, what will do is to delete all the tables and create them again. And of course, you will have the new field. However, you do not want to do something like that, especially when the application is live, because if you run PHP Artisan Migrate Refresh, that will delete all the data. So in that case, you want to create a new migration to add the new field. So I will just delete this because we do not want to do it like this. And I will go back and say PHP Artisan Make Migration. So we want to create a new migration. And I will call this Add 
live and post on fields to the articles table. You see, I describe it exactly how I want it to be. Now the option in this case is not create anymore, but table. So you use the create option when you want to create a new table. In our case, we want to modify an existing table, the articles table. We want to add some new fields to that table. So the table option here makes sense. And the table that we want to modify is articles. And I did a mistake here. It is not make migrate, but make migration. My bad. Okay, now it works. So I will add here the live field. So table, boolean, it will be a boolean, and we can say live. The default value will be zero. Let's also add the post on field, which will be a timestamp, post on, and this will be nullable. So it can be null if we want it to be null. Now this field here, the post on field, will be used later because in this application we want to post articles at a specific time. For example, on Facebook you can set a time when you want your post to go live. Or if you have ever used a WordPress, then you know that you can set the date time for a post to be posted. For that we will use cron jobs, but we will see that later in the application. And by the way, you can see here the difference between the create and the table options. So the table option will use the table function and the create option will use the create function. In our last migration here, we used the table option and this is why we see the table function here. I just wanted to point this out. Now the down function should do the opposite of the up function. So here now we should drop the columns. So table drop column and this can be an array live and post on. Okay, so with this we are now ready to run PHP Artisan Migrate for the last time. So PHP Artisan Migrate. Let's go back now and see what we have here. So if I go to the articles table, structure, you can now see that we have live and post on. Of course we have a lot more to discuss about migrations, but we will do that whenever it is necessary during the next videos. For now it is time to continue with our crude operations. In the next video we will see how we can create articles. Mm -hmm.